Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you, Chairman McCaffrey and members of the committee. Thank you so much uh, for your attention, your courtesy, and your endurance, and making sure that everybody who wanted to be heard uh, in these hearings could be heard. It, I can't tell you how much that's appreciated. Uh, my name is Hillary Nicholson, and my husband and I live in Cranston. I'd like to imagine that we all belong to a country club. We'll call it the Wonder Bread Country Club. It's beautiful. It has a 36-hole golf course, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a clubhouse with four function rooms, and three restaurants. Only thing is, we don't accept Jews, Catholics, or people who speak Spanish. This is the way it's always been at the Wonder Bread Country Club. Well, at one point, it changes, and everybody is welcome into this country club. Have we changed the definition of the country club? No. Same golf course, same pool, same clubhouse, same restaurants. Nothing has changed for us as members, except that we're no longer excluding other people from the club. I'm not going to try to persuade any of you uh, to personally support or oppose same-sex marriage. You believe what you believe, and that is your right. As a matter of law, however, I can think of no valid legal reason for not voting this bill onto the floor of the Senate. You've heard countless hours of testimony and gotten, I'm sure, hundreds of emails, calls, and letters with all kinds of opinions for and against. And I've listened to these arguments, too. And 99% of the arguments I hear against same-sex marriage are based in religion. But not all religions agree that same-sex marriage is wrong. Indeed, you've heard in this very room lots of members of clergy who would like to practice their religion and embrace same-sex couples in marriage. The Catholic Bishop of Rhode Island opposes same-sex marriage. The Episcopal Bishop of Rhode Island approves same-sex marriage. Which of those is correct? Which is valid? Does the state of Rhode Island have the authority to make that determination? Of course it doesn't. The freedom of religion and conscience guaranteed in our federal and state constitutions assure that we may practice our religion without interference from the civil state. It does not, however, protect all, any of us from being offended by other people's beliefs. Disagreeing with someone is not violating their constitutional rights. When you assumed your offices, you all swore an oath to God or affirmed under penalty of perjury that you would support the constitutions of the state of Rhode Island and the United States of America. If you oppose same-sex marriage and your opposition is based on your religious beliefs, that is your right under the Constitution. If, however, your vote on this particular bill is based on the belief that your particular religious beliefs are more valid than someone else's, then I would respectfully submit that you're violating your oath of office. I don't think there's any contradiction in opposing same-sex marriage personally for religious reasons and voting yes on Senate Bill 38 and respecting others' rights to their own beliefs, even if they differ from your own. Thank you very much for your time. Are there any questions or comments? Yeah. Senator Metz. I would just say that you have to be true to yourself, and that's why regardless of what you believe you study it for yourself and then uh, one thing I always wrestle with but one thing I was I was always taught it says it's better to please God than man so that's my belief so you're entitled to yours and I'm entitled to mine so thank you very much yes but senator you're entitled to impose your beliefs on me if you believe and vice versa that, and vice no, versa no I, 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 don't respe think so. I respectfully disagree so let's leave it at that mr. well Chairman. okay thank you are there any other questions or comments for this witness? Thank you.